lawsuit against the Clarksville bonding company is moving forward two months after a young father was shot and killed by mistake. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland shows us how this case is raising even more questions. After a Clarksville man was shot and killed by a group of bounty hunters back in April, some question whether state laws regarding businesses like this should be more strict. These seven men with Kesey Bonding are indicted on 16 charges, including first-degree murder, attempted second-degree murder, and especially aggravated kidnapping. In late April, they're accused of pursuing a vehicle they thought had fugitive William Ellis inside. Turns out, Ellis was not there, but other men, including 24-year-old Jalen Milan, were. When the bounty hunters opened fire at the vehicle, Milan was shot and killed. This culture of hunting people um, for money. That's what this amounts to, a hunt for money. His family is suing for wrongful death as state lawmakers review the laws that surround bounty hunters. Although a bounty hunter may face serious charges, as in this case, there are no laws in the state of Tennessee on the books that will prevent them from continuing to work and apprehend fugitives while awaiting trial. Some are calling for state laws and policies that will do away with bounty hunting and bail bonding altogether. Our attempts to reach Representative Joe Pitts were not successful before the holiday weekend. In Clarksville, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5. Thank you, John Quill. Representative Pitts has said he will set up meetings in the future to discuss current bounty hunter laws.